Hey guys, I'm here today to share with you a plan with me, but something super exciting that you have probably seen, and that is Planner Kate is opening her vault of kits. So this is the very first from the vault kit um, that she's released. The kit number is up here, so FTV from the vault 100. And then she did list the original kit underneath. So this original kit was from 2020 and it was MK235. So if you are like me and you have a stash of all your leftover kit stickers, you can go back through and find the ones that match. So let's talk about the um, kits first and what is included because they are a little different than the other full kits and mini kits that she offers. So depending on what year the kit came from, it's really going to um, influence what the sheet looks like. Sheet A will be full boxes. You can tell here the 2020 full boxes looked like this. Sheet B is the washi strips and I'm pretty sure those will be standard. So, you know, you get some normal size washi, some thinner washi, and then the teeny tiny strips. You'll probably see the most change in the sampler page. So this is what the sampler page was formatted for in 2020. And um, that's what we see here from the vault kit. To me, that's what makes it kind of nostalgic and why I want to use vault kits is that I can still use this 2020 format. Um, I'm happy that she's not updating the sheets to match the current format because I can just buy those kits, right? So that's part of the fun to me is looking back at what the kits used to look like over the years and using some of those stickers like these third, are they third boxes? maybe half boxes. I don't know. I remember loving those so, so much. Then you have a sheet D make your own monthly. And what I love about this is that we have some longer washi pieces. So if your planner is smaller than this, you know, you can use this in like any planner on the market basically for the month of you and then just trim the wide washi down. And then you can do your own start date. So you have a solid strip to make your header and then your days of the week, along with, of course, the date dots and just a few labels. I also like that this does not have a month on it because this was a July 2020 kit, but I think I'm gonna use it for my June planning in my month view. So I can just put a month sticker on here that I already have or save it and use it for whatever month that I personally want to use it for. We also have sheet E, which is just a label sheet. So you have a solid, some white overlay, appointment labels, and some larger labels. And then of course we have individual headers so that you can use them on the hourly, the vertical, compact vertical, all of the planners. Um, it's just more versatile when you have individual headers versus like a strip header. So that's what's available. And I know you can buy each sheet individually and there's going to be a bundle option. I think it's a little bit discounted. So if you want all the sheets, just pick up the bundle. Now, I don't think we're gonna be using this today because I wanna save that for a monthly plan with me. I'm gonna set that off to the side, but I am gonna plan out next week using this kit. All right, let's turn all the way back here to June. And it is Memorial Day week, but I don't care. I couldn't wait. I wanna dive into this vault kit so badly. I'm not waiting, we're doing it now. And I have a Memorial Day kit that I actually used in my horizontal planner. So um, I'm not wasting that kit by any means. Okay. Let's do this. This is so exciting. Definitely going to need those headers 
And then do I want to use some washi off of the sampler or this sheet? And I think I'm going to use this one. And how do I want to do this? I might need some thin washi up top. I think what I'm going to do is one, put the dates down so I don't forget as I cover them up and then see where we need to go from there. So let me know what you think about these vault kits. I kind of want to go through my leftover kits. They are organized fairly well and like make a list of kits that I hope that she's going to release from the vault and keep an eye out for those. I believe they will be offered every Friday and she's just gonna work through and like the surprise and the suspense of what that kit is going to be is so fun in my opinion. I'm really, really excited about the whole thing. Um, the surprise for Friday and then using the kits and reminiscing all of that stuff. Super fun in my opinion. Okay, if I do this, that's what I was afraid of. I think what I want to do, because of their individual headers, is use just this teeny tiny, super thin washi to cover up that line at the top of the planner. We'll do the same thing over on this side. What I was saying about my excitement is I wondered if there is just a certain kit from the years that you absolutely love and you are hoping that Kate releases quickly. My favorite kit of all time is that um, one that was already redone. It's called Raindrops and Sunshine. I have so many leftover pieces from that kit and this is like the second or third time that it has been released. Maybe just the second time. I kind of want to put these all the way up against, yeah, I need these all the way up against that thin strip of washi. And you can still see these lines in between. Do I like that? Or do I want to put the thicker washi there? I don't know why I'm struggling with this because I use individual headers all the time. I'm sure that I have. Yeah, see? So I did. I put the thicker washi up there. I don't know why I didn't just do that from the beginning. We can still use these maybe underneath though, so I don't want to waste them. Go ahead and get this slice tool. I have been making a complete mess lately on my plan with me's. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's summer brain already. Bear with me, we'll get there, I promise. Okay. And then maybe we'll put these down underneath. Oh yes, this looks much better. Centered in this little 6 a.m. in the unlabeled spot above it. And now that I see this, I don't think I need the thin washi underneath, but I'll put that up there out of the way and save it in case I need it for later in this spread. Okay, 
We will also use a This Week sticker over here. We will go ahead and cover the calendar with this box. I was also thinking back to some of the Erin Condren planners used to have these huge hexagons up here and I can't remember if Kate's kits had hexagons or if we just covered them with a larger full box. We'll have to see when the next kit comes out, if she releases one from a different year. Again, this one was from 2020. Okay, looking good so far. And then we definitely need to use the weekend banner off of the sampler. I used to love these. And I guess we can jump into some actual planning here now. On the 28th, I have a book that I can download that I pre-ordered. It's called Camino Ghosts, and I'm gonna use a flag off the sampler for that. And we'll probably do that first thing in the morning. And then on the 30th, one of my friends from church is having a heart procedure done. And I think I'll just use another one of those flags for that with this little icon. That is on the 30th. <clears throat> Monday is Memorial Day. And I do want to label that with probably one of these labels off sheet A. Because I am sure my husband will have the day off and maybe we can do something um, as a family. And then we have a couple of larger events on Friday. My husband has a diaper party to go to and I don't know the exact time yet. I think I'll use this and leave the top time blank until he tells me and just fill in the bottom. I am guessing that that's going to be like more in the afternoon here. So I'm just going to put it down at this 12 o'clock slot. And if he corrects me, these stickers are removable so I can just shift it down. And then in the evening, I have a sorority dinner to go to. We'll use a full box to mark that. And one of these labels here. And we'll stick that down over that full box. And now we can go in to church. So I'm going to use just appointment labels for that, starting with Wednesday night small group pulling out some super old stickers to use here with the vault kit and i just wanted a tracker for my sidebar and i think maybe like this light purple or even the plum would match. Let's see how close the plum is. Pretty close. 
or the purple. I think I'll do the light purple. So we will track the summer bridge program for my son. Kitchen tidy every day. Make the beds. And since I'm home on summer break, I really want to focus on eating dinner at home and maybe not eating out so often. And we're going to put this down over these trackers. We will also fill out some of this sidebar. Let's see what we have here. And we'll do a to-do. Used to do these all the time, like a to-do, to-go, to-contact. So we'll go back to that for this one. And get that filled out. So I do need a thank you card for, I think, two people. We will do a files away. I am done with school, but still have some end of year tasks to get done. On the call, I also need a carpet quote. Library program. On the to go section. And then I have a couple of general to do's. And I think that that is it. The other thing is like my weekend cleaning, reset, and content. So let me just glance back here and see what we have for that. I kind of want to save some of these labels for my monthly plan with me. I do have three of these decorative labels left, and I typically do three different um, YouTube videos. And I think I will put those down here on this bottom bar section. I haven't really thought too much about the actual schedule of what that, like what videos will be on what day, but I can at least have the placeholder here. So that I can go back in and fill it out once I decide. I think I'll also do for my cleaning tasks, a solid flag on Friday. And we'll just label that weekly reset. And we'll find some old checklists in here. Um, I might use something that's a little bit older just so it has that retro planner cape vibe as I'm using obviously a vault kit. But I used to have some that were like sticks these and we'll do see if this lines up I think it does remember these anyone yep we'll use that and then I'll just hand right in here my weekend tasks okay so Usually my plan with me's are a little bit longer because I have more things to plan for. But now that I'm on summer break, like this whole section of my planner um, will be filled with kind of unknown items rather than IEP meetings and parent meetings and evaluations and all that fun stuff. So um, I still had a lot of fun using this kit, even though it's not as full of a week as it typically is for me. And then as the days get closer, kind of hash out what my to-do lists are going to be for the day and what I want to get done. And of course, I'll probably just stick with these same checklists and put some of those down. And then if events pop up, I can add those too. Let me know what you're thinking. Are you digging the From the Vault kits? I just hardly could contain my excitement, to be honest with you. So 
I am loving it. Can't wait to see what next Friday's kit is. And I will see you guys back on my next video. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you all being here. <laughs>